Patanjali Chaman Pros Pro Wrestling League Season 3 mein there is such an opportunity for women to do 50 yani 50 kg work kushti ka Haryana Hammers ki or se aa rahi hain China Mool ki Sun Yanan Patanjali Chaman Pros Pro Wrestling League Season 3 mein mahilaon ke 50 kg wag kushti bout mein Mumbai Maharashtra ki or se aa rahi hain Bharatiya Mool ki Seema Bisla Mitti se phaila bane Comes bout number two of the day, Sun Yanan, the Chinese grappler, 25 years old, representing the Haryana Hammers, bronze at the Rio Olympics back in 2013, go to the World Championships for her, and she's got a win under her belt this season already. She goes up against Seema Bisla in the 50 kg category for women. The 24 year old Seema Bisla, national champion, also had gold at the Commonwealth Championships in 2017. The referee for this contest, Pavlina Georgiou, is going to be officiating this bout in the commentary box. I'm Raman Banot with John Taylor and of course joining us now in the com box is the co-owner of the Haryana Hammers captain Amar Ramchandani good to have you here with us thank you very much thank you very much John there are six owners uh, for the Haryana Hammers and there's a story behind that we'd like to know from captain Amar as basically uh, there are seven, seven. and uh, I stand <laughs> and we're all from the study since the fourth class Mayo College Ajmer we all got together and uh, got this going. Yeah, the great thing about it, Amar, there's a really friendly group feel about the Haryana Hammers. It comes through, but it's a bit of a family, even though it's a friend's family rather than family family. It is, it is, definitely. It's like uh, family away from family. Like uh, all of us here, we get together outside and inside now. So sports and uh, friendship go together. All went away and did your own things, and um, fascinating because certainly um, Neeraj, one of the guys, uh, he actually lived in Wales for a while, has a house still outside Cardiff. Yes, yes, you're right. Well, it's been one of the most consistent teams of pro wrestling league across seasons. Ariana Hammers made it to the finals twice, this time wanting to go the distance, Captain? Yep, twice uh, made the finals, this time winning the finals. They've got the prediction right there. Right, 1 minute 18 and so far Sun Yanan has not been able to force home an attack. Seema Bizzla I think being warned for not engaging, being a bit too defensive. Now Sun Yanan actually having to escape there. So yes, a minute and a half gone, you'll have the passivity rule kick in soon. Trying to go for a single leg attack, but the referee staving off uh, the challenge there. Seema Bizla trying to claim that there was some unlawful holding of the fingers and trying to uh, actually uh, just tweak them a bit. And I also get a, get a feeling here, the point's been given to Sun Yanan for passivity because for a minute and a half, no grappler had scored a point. 30 seconds, Seema was already won by the referee to try and score and since she didn't a point for passivity was what was given to Sun Yanan so the Hrana Hammers grappler up 1-0 and Sun Yanan will certainly want something more positive than that she's a very positive person there's Odunayu um, another one of the Mumbai Maharati stars in this uh, competition John uh, remember Odunayu was supposed to go up against uh, Helen Maroulis Unfortunately, 
Helen isn't too well, so she's not playing today, Captain. Yeah, she isn't well, uh, so we've uh, rested her as a precaution for the further matches. She'll be fine. I loved your guys. They were so positive. They said she's going to have three more bouts to fight in, so therefore it's worth resting up. <laughs> you're that, right, you're of course, right. only works if you get through, but uh, they've got no doubts that you're going to. You bet. The league game, the semis and the finals. That's what makes it three. And the Hammers hope to go the distance. Well, we're coming up to uh, the last 10 seconds or so of round one. And um, Sun Yan An, as I say, very positive wrestler. She won't be very happy just to be leading by that, effectively, what is a penalty point for passivity. But uh, she's going to have to settle for that at this stage. Three minutes up. That uh, takes us... Uh, I don't even like using the word in wrestling, but she's not a pushover. Quite literally. I do agree with you. Of course, uh, in the commentary box with us is Captain Amar Ramchandani, who's the co-owner of the Haryana Hammers. Not looking too worried, and maybe there could be reason to change that thought. Sunyanan in some bother here. And a push-out being affected by Seema Bisla. That'll get her one point. Captain, warning signs early on in round two. Uh, it's all under control, all under control. Yeah, well, at the moment, that actually puts Seema in the lead because it was the point that was scored last, but this is a, a big leg attack from Sun Yanan, and she's turned that into two. 3-1, she goes into the lead now, and she's desperately trying to roll her opponent over. It's as if the sleeping tigress has been woken up and she doesn't like it. She's now trying to win this by fall. Somehow escaping that attack, Seema Bisla. Goldie Bell looks a happy man, Bupinder by his side and Captain Amar here with us in the commentary box. Take another look at that attack. Fantastic, got that single leg hold, turned her up and took her down for a couple of points and then Tried to flip her over into that danger position to try and win this by fall. Somehow, Seema was able to defend that. And the holding of the hand. Uh, that's uh, a couple of points that she got with Sun Yanan. She's up 4-1 at the moment. The judge just discussing things. Call the judge. With the referee. I gave two, I gave caution and two. Yes. I wonder if there's a chat about an illegal hold yeah, and a penalty caution, point to be caution. added on. And that's what has been added on in the score as well. It's 5-1 in favour of Sun Yanan. Yeah, that illegal hold preventing her effecting the attack. Again though, a good attempt by Seema. Countered though by Sun Yanan. Now, can she get her opponent over? She's in the danger position. Sun Yan Yan desperately trying to turn this into a pinfall, but good defense from Seema. She'll have to settle, I think, just for the two. Goes to 7 1. Well, they're a happy lot, and why not? It just seems as if this is an attack that's gone all wrong for Seema. Tried to go for a single leg hole in the end. It was a fantastic counter from Sun Yanan had the grip on the left leg tried to uh, get her opponent pinned on the mat Seven one and well in control with just one minute now left to go and without Helen Marulis in this uh, contest it's actually quite a, a tight match so they can't afford any slip-ups captain what's interesting is it just seems as if Seema with that push out has got Sun Yanan all worked up yes yeah, he's got a warmed up I guess and it's been a tale of two halves if one can put it like that the first round was very sedate but the second round is seen a whole lot of action. Look at that. Again in a dangerous position. She could win this by four. Trying to escape somehow. 
And she does indeed. I well, I think there was two points definitely to Seema there, and she certainly got the, the initial takedown. Oh, but terrific strength for Sun Yan and how she managed to counter, almost take her back. In the end, it turned out to be a scoring maneuver for both grapplers. Sun Yanan scored two for the takedown first, but the reversal happened from Seema. Moment, five points the difference, and not much time left on the clock. She's counting down here. Sun Yanan defending well. Seema with a last ditch effort. It won't help. Is joined the Haryana Hammers camp and amongst the supporters in the stands. The player who's been nominated as captain in the absence of Helen Marulis today for the Haryana Hammers, Sunyanan, wins her bout and she wins it 9 4.